Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Celeste and this is From Far Out. Today I have a new video for you on petrified wood. We're going to talk about its meanings and properties, how I use it in meditation and to benefit my life. I'm going to talk about a couple of different crystals that I like to pair with it. And then I'm going to finish with a small card reading just to sort of get an energy read on petrified wood and what message come through for collective. So let's jump right in. Okay, so it has been a minute since I have filmed. I work full time from home. I am also home with my two kids. I have very little time uh, dedicated to film. It's either like if my lunch break coincides with nap time or like in the evening when my husband gets home or super, super early in the morning before anybody wakes up. So right now it is very early in the morning i hope the lighting is okay i have my windows open but it's very gray and cloudy um but i have my ring light set up so hopefully it's not too bad anyways let's jump in i'm gonna start actually with a bit of a smudge so i'm just gonna light some sage clear the room clear the space clear my intuition um i'm gonna light up this this is actually white sage um that's been dipped in i think it's called I want to say dragon's blood, dragon's blood resin, which gives it that red color. Um, it looks like this, by the way. Um, so, I love the smell of the dragon's blood resin. It just adds a whole, like, another level of grounding. Um, so, I'm going to cleanse some of these crystals that I have here. So, today we are talking about petrified wood. Now, I know that some of you saw um that big giant package that got delivered to me and i told you i was like this is one crystal and this is the biggest crystal box i've ever received in my life so let me start off by showing you what was in that um oh gosh this is a huge slab of petrified wood i hope you are seeing it um, i will try and get some close-ups in if i have the time Girl, girl, I don't even have time to film. How am I going to have time to edit? I don't know. <laughs> but this is a giant piece of petrified wood. It's got some live edges, and then it's obviously polished on the front. I love this. I literally want to put this underneath my um, little meditation pillow and sit on it and meditate or, like, use it as, like, a charcuterie board or, like, a serving platter. It is just so beautiful. I am absolutely in love with this petrified wood um, along with smoky quartz are my... Those are my jam. I love the energy of petrified wood. So let's talk a little bit about it. Petrified wood is one of my favorite grounding stones um, because it promotes movement. So petrified wood, if you're not aware, is just fossilized wood. It's old trees that have been buried under earth or um, water. And over time, it's sort of fossilized or petrified itself and turned it into this like crystally stone. Um, so it's really, really hard like a crystal, um, but it still does maintain the look of the wood. So all of the mineral um, turned into a crystal. So you'll typically see it in uh, like these slices like this um, in different sizes. So I have that one. I have this one that kind of looks like a flower, but also has that live edge. I love this one. And this one is very beautiful as well. It looks like a person in like um, a meditation pose. I think it's so cool. Um, so you'll see these very commonly like this. Um, I have another kind that I'm going to show you, but first let's just talk about regular petrified wood. So like I said, it's a very grounding stone, um, but it promotes growth. It promotes movement. And I find for myself and others who um, sort of deal with like bipolar or um, bipolar disorder or like depressive disorders, any kind of mood disorders that you find yourself like going back and forth between extremities. Um, I would go for petrified wood over any other grounding stone personally because um, I find that other grounding stones can sort of like hold me in a very deep space and as somebody who experiences emotions very heavily, who um, lives in extremities, um, super super grounding crystals can sort of pull me into a depressive episode or just keep me really down. I lose a lot of motivation, I lose a lot of creativity, but petrified wood sort of keeps me in my middle space, keeps me in my strength, keeps me in my grounding, in my earth, but in a way where my heart is still open, where I'm still open to love of source. Um, being a tree, it carries that um, that ancient knowledge of growth from Mother Earth, how to use the soil to keep growing. 
there's not a whole lot of stagnation with petrified wood um, it is a very growing energy I love that it comes in slabs like this because if you're doing a grid or something or you're manifesting something and you're putting you know what your goals are and stuff petrified wood is a great energy to hold that in the physical world but also um, increase that energy so as all trees or most trees of the evergreens I guess they know how to transform they know when it's time to let go of their leaves um, and offer those old leaves to the earth to replenish the soil um, they know when it's time to stand strong in themselves without any protection and they know when it's time to grow again when the Sun can come back and we can uh, recreate our buds and, and our fruit and whatever comes from our personal tree right so if you're going through a transformative cycle and you're finding it really hard to let go of things or um, I what I've been going through recently and why I've been really feeling petrified wood energy is that I am going through a transition where I need to become something new but the person that I am the, the things that I've worked towards I've worked so hard to get here I've spent a lot of energy a lot of time um, really transforming myself into this version and I love this version of myself but this version is not, um, it's not serving my future self. I'm, I'm happy in my present, but I know that there are things that I need for my future. And so it's really hard for me to say, well, you worked so hard to get here. Why are you letting it go? Well, because better things are coming in the future. So if you're also having a hard time letting go of the present, whether it's good or bad, maybe you have difficult connections that you know you need to let go of, that you're not happy with, but they're still really hard to let go of, Petrified Wood is going to be a great crystal to help you release with grace. If you're a dream worker, if you're somebody who loves to sleep with crystals, to have dreams about crystals, um, to get into like deep meditations where uh, you're like really experiencing a story, maybe in like a sweat lodge. One of my first sweat lodges, um, I was like maybe 14 or 15, um, was one of the most incredible story dream times that I've ever been through in my life. And maybe one day I'll do a little story time about that. Maple, can you please stop? I put up my fall decorations and she loves to eat the fake leaves and stuff. Um, but if you are a dream time worker or you love stories, you love being told stories, receiving stories, Petrified Wood is a great one. Um, trees hold our ancient stories, all of our, our fables, our ancient wisdom, the things that we would tell the children to, um, to carry the teachings. Uh, is in petrified wood it's in the trees it's in um, the representation of our earth mother you know that that teaching and nurturing energy so if you're looking to learn a lesson if you want to hear some old stories um, meditate deeply with petrified wood sleep with it be open to your dream work with it um, and then do a little bit of a reflection after the story that you've received maybe you don't receive a story right away um, maybe it'll come in time because petrified wood will always give you what you need um, it's really good at analyzing uh, the the not the needs but um just sort of like where you're at, it will meet you where you're at. So if you're ready for dream time work, um, if you're ready for stories, I absolutely love Petrified Wood for old stories and then finding the teachings in those things and applying them. It's a really, really great way of learning for me personally. Maybe you're the kind of person who likes to learn by just being like pushed right into a situation and having to learn on the spot. Maybe you work right under pressure, I'm happy for you, try Moldavite, but Petrified Wood is a great teacher for me. I reach for petrified wood when I'm in a very heady space, when my mental body is like way out of whack, when I have a million things going at one time or a million things I'm worried about at one time. Um, petrified wood, meditating with it, um, I like to visualize myself as a tree in the middle of a river. So having these great white waves going around me and then being still in my peace in this tree, knowing that my roots are holding me solid to the ground under the river. My leaves are flowing me upwards towards the sun. I am balanced and complete and I am at peace. So I have four crystals, well, three-ish crystals that um, I wanna talk about that I'd love to use in pairing with petrified wood. Um, I'm gonna start here with smoky quartz because I have these two pieces of petrified wood that have smoky quartz growing on them. So when the tree um, fossilizes and it becomes an, like a crystal like mineral um, other crystals can grow on it very often quartz sometimes you'll see like quartz druzy holes inside of slabs of petrified wood but i love seeing smoky quartz you know smoky quartz is everything my most expensive crystal in my entire collection is a huge piece of smoky quartz um one of my best investments honestly 
this petrified wood, even though it's probably the same size as my big smoky quartz and like a similar weight, this was only $200. Petrified wood is very inexpensive you, if you get it from the right place. Um, you'll often see it in tumbles for like a couple dollars. I think I got um, these for like $10, $10, $15 a piece, these smaller ones here. Um, so it's it's very inexpensive if it's something that you're wanting to try. Um, anyways, getting into smoky quartz paired with petrified wood. Smoky quartz itself is a very mystical and magical stone. It's one that I love to use for um, spell work or manipulating energy in some way, desires, manifestation, that kind of thing, because it really pulls you into that um, the spiritual world, like going through the mist. Paired with petrified wood, it will connect you directly to your ancestors. So if you're trying to, um, or if you're somebody who feels very lonely in the world, maybe you don't have a lot of family, maybe you lost a lot of friends, maybe you've secluded yourself or isolated yourself in some way, or um, if, if you're lonely, no matter what has happened um, or where it comes from, loneliness is really, really helped uh, by smoky quartz and petrified wood because it will take you through that mist, it will enter you into the spiritual world, and you will see all of the ancestors, all of the spirit guides, all of the teachers, the observers that surround your life, that guide you and push you into the right direction. Um, smoky quartz will, it, it's got that like smoky energy um, where you're entering this air like world where it's not very grounded in the physicality. It's not super um, like interdimensional. It's just sort of like here in this physical world. And I, I think a lot of people associate smoky quartz with like um, like witches and and that kind of like magical realm, like almost a sci-fi realm or I don't know how you would describe it, but the spirits that you will see from this physical world who are, have experienced this physical world, who have advice to give on how to live in this physical world um, is how I use smoky quartz and petrified wood. If you don't have a piece that like is smoky quartz and petrified wood growing together, grab some smoky, grab some petrified wood, it will be the same. I just like it because it's a really cool growth pattern. I feel like this giant baby isn't getting enough attention. I'm just gonna hold her in my lap because I love her so much. It came with a huge stand um, and I, I have her displayed and she's great, but it's hard to display crystals when you have two little babies. They're about to be one in October crawling around. So it is like packed away in a place that I only get to see it if I actively try. So I like playing with them while the babies are not here. Okay, next piece that I wanna talk about is rose quartz. Now, petrified wood is that mother earth grounding, nurturing, love, connection to source, having that root energy. And then bringing in something like rose quartz, this is a skull, I'll talk about the skull factor in a minute, but rose quartz itself is um, more of a spiritual love, an unconditional love, a um, like a, uh, a never ending source of love. And that is a very similar energy to petrified wood and having those roots in the ground and receiving everything that we need, receiving abundance through our roots. Um, so when we connect our grounded love and our spiritual love, it is so beautiful. It like really is an incredible, powerful energy that is just going to surround you in love. And when we feel love, we feel peace, we feel um, abundance, we feel this like consistent source of energy, never feeling scarcity, never feeling lack. Um, I feel like a lot of us, our, um, I don't want to say like our addiction because like not everybody suffers from addiction, but um, addiction is present in everybody's lives in one way or another. Um, and I know that for myself, a lot of my addiction is in like shopping addiction and like food addictions. And I feel like those for me come from a fear of scarcity, a fear of lack. So when I work with these two together, um, it really brings me peace. So if you're somebody who's dealing with um, uh, I don't want to say addiction because I feel like it's a very strong word, but if you're somebody who's dealing with, um, feeling like there's never enough and you need to be surrounding yourself with things, uh, whether it's through shopping or whether it's through people, you know, never being alone, that kind of thing, having these two connected will, um, ground you in source it will help you feel like you are never alone you are never without you always have an endless connection to happiness to pleasure to love to abundance now specifically i love working with my uh, rose quartz skull because the skull holds that ancestral energy so it's really going to connect me to my um not not specifically familial like 
literal blood DNA lines, but it can. Um, but it's going to connect me to my ancestral love. So the generations that came before that did all the work to prepare earth for this generation and this generation preparing the earth for the next generation. So I feel um, full of love and full of care and I feel very thought of when I work with these two specifically with my ancestral skulls. I have two more crystals that I'm gonna talk about here and then we'll get into some cards and then we will call it a day. So the next crystal I'm going to talk about, where did she go? Oh, there she goes. So this is tourmaline. Um, this is watermelon tourmaline, pink and green specifically for the heart. But any tourmaline, maybe aside from black tourmaline, um, will feel this same energy. So tourmaline is an opening stone. So working with petrified wood and tourmaline together is going to sort of like open up and and clear that space um whatever you're trying to plant you know when you when you plant a seed you have to clear a hole first you have to make sure that the soil around it is proper um so the tourmaline is really going to cleanse and clear out the space it's going to like get rid of all the old crap um it's going to go a little bit deeper so that when you bring in that petrified wood and you bring in that love energy um it's really going to solidify and hold on to you it also does carry a bit of that spiritual love in the same essence of rose quartz so they are a beautiful pair if you don't have any rose quartz or if you just prefer the energy of tourmaline i know that tourmaline can be a bit stronger, a bit more potent. Um, so there really is going to be some like deep clearing out. So if you're not ready to um, really look into that shadow self, to really look into that clearing part, and you just need a little bit of uh, comfort in the moment, I would go with rose quartz. But if you're really looking to do some work, if you want to do some shadow self, uh, some shadow work um, and really connect to your inner needs, I would go with uh, watermelon tourmaline. Next, I'm going to talk about sunstone in collaboration with Petrified Woods. Sunstone is all about unfurling your leaves, soaking in good times, soaking in that sun energy. Um, it's going to help us stabilize and reach towards our passion. Add a little bit of fire energy to that wood, which I know can, can be a little bit... Um, can sort of feel like they're almost at odds because fire can like obviously hurt wood um, or transform wood, but the sunstone energy feels more like um, you're just rejoicing in the goodness of the world. You're rejoicing in the source, in the growth, in your ability and your capacity. Um, I really love sunstone for uh, just being uplifting and entering that that next level of like, yeah, all of this crap is going on, but like all of this good stuff is going on too. And if I can just soak that up, even for a minute, bring it into my leaves, bring it into my trunk, bring it into my roots, I will be full of passion and of fire and of creativity. And it will be um, grounded in me and held strong in me. And that is what is going to push me towards my passion, push me towards my goal, um, and really give you that extra like kick but not a kick in a way where uh you're kind of where like for those of us again who have like bpd who feel in extremities um it, sunstone can often be like very sparky and very like almost manic uh, uh, and push us into that like super fast energy pairing it with petrified wood is going to calm it down um, and sort of meet in the middle where you have that strength you have um, the spark but it's stable it's here in this moment it's got a vision it's got um, a path forwards okay so those are the crystals that i wanted to talk about i'm going to quickly relight my sage here and do a quick card reading um, and just sort of pull some energies, see what uh, manifests, what energy uh, or message comes forward from spirit through petrified wood. Um, so I have this deck here. I actually recently got this deck from a lady at the farmer's market. I work at the farmer's market to help out my um, in-laws. And of course, I love to do shopping. They have a little uh, like organic mushroom business. It's very cute. I love it. Um, so I'm just going to cleanse this deck. Again, I'm using that dragon's blood grounding. Um, and I also like to, I don't know if y'all do this, but so I have my little uh, shell and sometimes I'll put like crystals in there um, and like little today pieces of petrified wood and stuff um, <laughs> just to sort of charge the energy of the smudge to sort of like fill that smoke um, and send that message to creator. And it also will charge anything that you're cleansing. So if you have an intention uh, to cleanse with sage or any other herb or medicine, um, charge your medicine with a crystal, a cleansed crystal, and that smoke will in turn charge whatever you're working with today. 
is cards that I'm working with. So let's give these bad boys a shuffle and see what comes through for collected from Petrified Wood. And then we'll go into this big baby and get a little bit of a, a charging energy here. Oh my gosh, immediately, immediately something pops out. Let's see, one more. Let's see, oh my gosh, okay, we've got three. Let's see, so first of all, drum we've got awakening the drum is all about um entering that heart space you know the heartbeat of mother earth and of course that is perfect for petrified wood reaching your roots down and really feeling the flow of mother earth and knowing that the direction that you're going the path that you're on is from the earth mother the earth mother this is your fate this is your destiny this is what you are meant to be doing this is your medicine and then we have, I'm like reaching over this giant crystal. Next we have flute for expression and the staff of foundations. Oh my God, you guys, are you kidding me? This is literally um, root for, oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> expression and foundations. Yes, expression and foundations. Root your foundations and express through your leaves. So um, using that foundation of that earth love source and really expressing yourself and whatever fruits from your tree, you know what I mean? Um, whatever fills your heart, whatever comes from your passion, let that be expressed into the world. Um, take your strength, take the source, take the energy from the earth and transform it into what fulfills you. Whatever fruits from your tree, let it be through love. So that is a beautiful message that we pulled here today. I am so happy that you joined me here for this Petrified Wood video. Let me know if any of these crystals resonated with you, if you've ever worked with Petrified Wood, what your experience is. Um, again, this is just my experience, what I feel, what I've worked through for a while working with Petrified Wood. Um, but there's no rules or 101s on crystals, so do whatever feels right. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. Peace and love from far out.